Hello, and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And today, we're going to talk about crazy and insane and the asylum, which happens to be a hotel and a restaurant all together in one. Well, let's check it out and see what we got. Located in the small mining town of Jerome, Arizona, the Asylum Restaurant has been owned and operated by chefs since 2001, but the history of the building dates back as far as 1927. In its beginning, it was the United Verde Hospital, but was also known as the Phelps Dodge Hospital and United Verde Copper Hospital. It was the fourth and final hospital in Jerome. It was a state-of-the-art medical facility, but even so, 9,000 souls died in this hospital, and people have given testimonies on how this place is haunted. The hospital closed in 1950 and was turned into the Jerome Grand Hotel in 1996. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, you'll find it interesting that the hotel manages to fill a 300-page journal every year from visitors who have experienced something. Jerome is a town located in the Black Hills of Yavapai County, which overlooks the Verde Valley. It is more than 5,000 feet above sea level. Now, I mentioned at first that it was a mining town, but I only state that as an afterfact. It was a copper mining town back in its peak of the 1920s, but it's known more now for its art, shops, ghost tours, and local cuisine. The asylum is just one of those places, but prepare yourself for a long uphill walk. After that uphill walk, and another uphill flight of stairs, we had to prepare ourselves for an uphill menu of prices. Now don't get me wrong, they have a nice variety of food, but $19 for a Philly cheesesteak? I love Phillies, but not for that much. The pastrami and rye, however, it looked like a decent compromise, so I went with that and a side of cottage cheese. It wasn't plain old cottage cheese, though. The cottage cheese has an interesting taste because it's not just cottage cheese. There is... Pepper and onion. Yeah, there's like peppers and onions, and it's got a little bit of a, a pepper taste to it. What was, in the, what was in the cottage cheese again? Because it's really good. Uh, just pepper and scallions on top. That's oh, scal yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a great idea. Now my daughter, NerdGamer2K, got a naked garden sandwich, which sounds politically incorrect, but then we are in a place called the Asylum, so I guess anything goes here, and that's okay. So is the restaurant. It certainly doesn't make you feel crazy, but rather cozy. There is even a table with an incredible view of the Verde Valley. Now here's something I've never seen. A water fountain with a place to fill your own water bottles. Plus, there's a digital counter letting people know how many people have helped eliminate waste from disposable plastic bottles. And how many people basically have uh, helped save the environment. And the food? Fantastic. I expected no less. I knew it would be good. The sandwich was great, but it was the cottage cheese that took me by surprise. I'll have to make that at home more often. So there you go. That is the Asylum uh, restaurant and hotel. Um, it was uh, fun to go to. Uh, food is really good. A bit pricey, uh, but... You know, honestly, if you are prepared ahead of time um, and just, hey, you know, set money aside, um, you know, in an envelope and, you know, just go ahead uh, with that in mind and 
then it's it's not too bad, you know. You've you've got everything set aside, and when you go there, it, you don't really think anything of it. But uh, um, it didn't seem like it had a whole lot of variety. But still, it's 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 just kind of a you know a little fun place to go to, and it's kind of a you know like a ah why not you know type of place to go to. But you know hey, um, if you happen to go to Jerome. You know why not check it out? It it was good. The food was good. So, um, but hope hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thumbs up and like and uh, subscribe because a whole bunch of other videos. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later. I haven't done a video like this one before, so if you'd like to see more of this type, be sure to click like and share this with your friends, family, and over social media. The more likes this gets, the more I'll know of what you like to see. I make videos on a wide variety of subjects, so subscribing will notify you of any new videos that are uploaded. Remember to leave your comments down below because, hey, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.